Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dax. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. This is Tesla Talks. Let's talk a little more in depth about the Model Y and the quality issues. I touched on it a little bit with the last couple videos. The first video I put out about a week ago showing the issues uh, with the two white ones I had and a lot of people commented on different things for and against it and I get it I, I get both sides of it because I'm basically on the fence uh, I see both sides of it and then we had the podcast discussion earlier this week with Paul and uh, we discussed it a little bit more there but we didn't discuss it in depth really and then I did a video just a couple days ago uh, seeing another set of model Y's different VINs different ones uh, performance and stuff like that in the last video and and they're considerably better like I thought they were considerably better so it makes me think was it just those two that were in, at inception that were bad and maybe I jumped the gun and jumped to con uh, the conclusion and stuff like that so you know let's get one thing out of the way first and foremost before anything else the car the Model Y is an awesome car it's the best car that Tesla makes we know that hands down um, I think it's safe to say every car that Tesla makes coming out going forward will be better than all the rest like when they do the Model S and X refresh I guess you want to call it or redesign those will be better they'll be better than the predecessors they'll probably be better than the Y and the 3 too so that will that will overtake the Y in in terms of quality and better tech and stuff like that and then when the Cybertruck Oh, the beloved Cybertruck that we're all waiting for. When that comes out, that will be better than everything else. So, I mean, it's natural. It's it's how companies work, especially a, a tech company like Tesla. You know, that's how they work. They they progress, they evolve, and um, they get better. That's how it is. So, let's just get that out of the way right now. Quality issues aside, and maybe they're two different topics, but quality issue aside, the Model Y is a great car, and no one's taking that away from them, from Tesla. But when I talk about the negative and the quality issues that they're having for post-production or post-delivery, I guess, or delivery, just because I'm mentioning that, that's not taking away anything from how good the car is. That's just saying, it's such a good car, you're paying this much money for it, hard-earned money for most people, and you're getting a car that can be a lot better. There is no excuse. Well, there is an excuse, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, there, but let's just say there's no excuse for putting out a car that is as good as it is and as awesome and amazing as it is and putting it out with those quality issues that just sort of cast a dark shadow or a dark cloud over it and leaves a bad taste in people's mouths, which you can't blame them, especially new people that are coming to Tesla. This is what they see first and foremost. For most of us, we're already Tesla owners for a little while, give or take, you know, anywhere from a year to a few months to all the way to like like five or six or seven years so we're Tesla owners we get it right but for the new people that were waiting for the Y and never had an electric car or never had a Tesla for example this can rub them the wrong way and and make them think that is this what Tesla is so yeah it it, it makes people really think you know is this what is this what I just paid 80,000 and it probably some people get panicked and probably get scared like I just spent eighty thousand dollars, and when I use eighty thousand, folks, here in Canada, the Great White North, these are the prices. I forget what the U.S. prices are equivalent to, but regardless, even in the states, whether it's fifty or sixty thousand, it's still a lot of money for most people. Um, most cars are a lot of money. These cars are a little bit more, but you're supposed to be getting a top quality. As far as the industry is concerned, Tesla is a luxury brand. So, getting back to what I'm trying to say, getting back to to the quality stuff. There's no excuse, there should not be any excuse why we're having these little issues. The And and, and I said I'll get back to the reason why and, and the excuse that they probably have. Well, we all know the last quarter push, they were shoving them out the door. They wanted to... Uh, tractor trailer. They wanted to... Um, oh, the car actually moved out of the way for the tractor trailer and almost went into this lane but didn't cross over line. Autopilot, that's another video I, I could do about Autopilot, how it's, it's gotten so much... Uh, anyways, another video. So where was I? Yeah, so the Model Y, the, the 
production, not even the production, the the quality issues, they shouldn't be doing that. They shouldn't be having those kind of issues with a car that expensive. I get it with the demand for the end of the quarter push and everything, and they want to get all the numbers they can get to sort of save the quarter. I mean, even if they had delivered, in my opinion, 20 or 30,000 cars less, and they were in the 70 or 60,000 mark, that would have still been astonishing for the industry. Like cars, other manufacturers didn't do close to that. So if Tesla had even come out and done anywhere from 60 to 70,000, the analysts would have seen, you know, they did a good job. And, you know, I mean, I don't know, did they have to do 90? Did they have to make it look like they are near what last year was? I don't know. At the risk of having all these quality issues and bad headlines and stuff like that, because let's face it, there I, I wasn't the only one that made a video on, on a quality issue. There were videos. The whole reason I made a video is because all the articles I read, and all the other videos I watched with other uh, people having quality issues. So mine was just a reactionary video to what everyone else's. I, I, I was certainly not the first to make a video about the quality issues. So they could have, you know, avoided all that negative publicity and negative press by just taking the time and making sure these quality issues are addressed before these cars leave the factory. I mean, Elon a few weeks ago even touched on, on that uh, in a leaked email to his employees. Like, I forget the term he used, but he was saying, that, you know, we have to make sure the quality is there and take the time and stuff like that. And I mean, this is what we're, we were getting with that email. Can you imagine if the, he didn't put out the email? I'm shocked to think what the quality would be if he hadn't put out that email. Anyways, like I said, they could get better. And, and the only reason I'm bringing this up, not to bash Tesla. I'm a Tesla fan, but uh, I'm not going to talk. If anyone has been following me for a while and follow me on this channel, they know that I'm not here to talk about how great Tesla is all the time and sunshines and lollipops and rainbows and everything. I call it as I see it if they're doing something wrong hey I don't know what happened there y yeah I know different position everything's a new day I was rambling on about you know what I was talking about there about the fanboy and how I all that kind of stuff and then it just the video just stopped and died and everything and I didn't even realize I was rambling on for another two or three minutes so anyways let's just wrap it up let me get back to what I was saying so what I was saying was yeah I'm a Tesla fanboy I, I, I like Tesla and, and I adore what they do and everything like that uh, and I'm all about the cause but I'm also a realist and I will stand up and say when Tesla's wrong I've done it in the past and that's just 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 how I am if, if you don't like it and you want to me to say all good things about Tesla I'm sorry I'm not going to when Tesla's wrong Tesla's wrong and I've said it before and in this case when they're putting out subpar things uh, eighty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollar cars in the US it's wrong just to get a profit, I mean, I, I get it. Their business, it's all about profit. You don't have to lecture me in that. I get what, what they're doing. But what they need to think about is over the long term. Don't think short term. Don't think just, okay, let's get uh, good numbers for this quarter. Because especially this quarter, I, I don't know why they did it. Because this quarter, like I said, they could have came in at like low numbers in the 50s and 70s. And, and nobody would have blamed them. Nobody would have thought it bad of them because everyone expected it to be a bad uh, quarter. So why why they had to push and by pushing sacrifice the quality of the cars to a lot of new customers that were waiting for Wise, I don't understand. Um, anyways, that's what my thought. Let me know in the comments below respectfully <laughs> if you agree with me or you disagree with me. If your uh, Model Y is good condition or bad condition or little when I say good condition I mean little things that they need to fix let me know actually I'm very curious to know if you were one of the few that rejected your delivery because of the issues and stuff like that like just, I, I'd love to know get, get your take on it if you think I'm way off base and I'm making this out to be more than it is and I'm just blowing it up out of proportion let me know but if, if you agree with me and you think that you know that Tesla needs to be held accountable and needs to put out better quality cars let me know in the comments below we'll have a healthy further discussion offline other than this now close to 10 minute video anyways folks that's all i got for you i will see you on the next one please like and subscribe if you haven't done so everyone on the internet is saying the same thing everyone's watching their videos and everything and then when you look at the analytics the subscription uh the, the people that are subscribed that compared to the people that watch 
is very low. And that's normal. I get it. A lot of people watch and they're not signed into their accounts. Some people don't even have accounts. They just remember the channel and they go back and they watch or it's a one-off. So if you are a member of YouTube and you're signed in and everything and you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Do yourself a favor because that way it makes it so much easier for you when I bring new content out. It'll let you know, especially if you hit that bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I'm in a whole different environment and look, I know. You gotta love technology. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah.